Jim. What time's the next train? Uh, the half past two's been cancelled. Next one's about half uh, three. Cancelled? Yeah. Hmm. Hello, Rita. What can I get you? Uh, no, thanks, love. I'm not stopping. I've just been to see Kevin. <sighs> not good, is he? No, he isn't. I, I don't know why he's working. He's just sat there staring. Well, at least when he's there, you see, we can keep an eye on him, you know? Yeah. I suppose having people around him is the one thing that might help. Let's hope so. Mm. Anyway, I believe congratulations are in order. Yes, indeed they are. I've been trying to keep it quiet as it goes so far. Oh, well, work. I'm sorry. I didn't <laughs> know that. No, don't worry your head. Vera put the kibosh on that, so she did. <laughs> Not a person I'd choose to keep a secret. No, you see, if I had my way, I'd be shouting from the rooftops. Honestly, I would. So it is official. Well, put it that's right. I think it will be whenever I give her this. I've just been down the jewelers to get it. What do you think? Oh, I see. Wait till she sees that. It's a beauty. It is, isn't it? I've got it planned, you see, Rita. I'm going to suggest a bit of late-night shopping. And when we get there, then I'll suggest a bite to eat in a restaurant that I've already pre-booked, see? So we'll go in and sit down. A waiter will bring some bubbly, and then I'll produce the ring. What woman could resist? I hope you'll both be very happy together, too. Thanks, Rita. I'm sure we will be. Right. Do you need any help at all? These tops are lovely. Oh. The pure silk. The colours are beautiful. Would you like to try it on? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> What's come this way? <gasps> look at these jackets. Hey, they'd look great with this top, wouldn't they? Yeah, it would. What size are you? Ten. I like something, you know, simple, elegant. What about those over there? They've only just come in. One-off designer labels. Oh, now you're talking my language. They're great. Hey, what do you think? The pink? All the green. They're both nice. They are, aren't they? Tell you what, I'll treat myself. I've both. This me back. I put it here, it's gone. It must be here somewhere. No, I, I, I definitely put it there. Somebody's taken it. Are you sure you didn't leave it in the changing room? Yeah, of course I'm sure. Are I definitely sure? didn't leave it in the changing room. It's got money in it. Somebody's taken it. I'll check anyway. <gasps> Kirsty, can you call security? Well, I can't have left the shop yet. <gasps> Money mainly. How much money? Lots. Thousands. Well, me and my fiance, we were going to buy a business, you see, and it was a cash deal. Just been to the bank. Anything else? Checkbooks, cards? Yeah, both. And my passport. I suggest you ring the bank straight away and cancel the cards. Is there any chance I'll get the money back? To be honest, without even a description of the thief. Oh, God. I take it you won't be wanting these. Oh, how you doing? Does a Gwen Davis live here? Yes, she certainly does. Huh? I wonder if I might have a word with her. Well, you could do, but, uh, well, she's not here. She's at work over there. Can I help you? Jim McDonald, our fiancé. Can I come in for a moment, Mr. McDonald? Oh, of course you can. Come on ahead. Now then, officer, what can I do for you? I believe she reported her handbag stolen at a shop in town this dinner time. Oh, did she? Oh, I'm honest to God, I have no idea. I haven't seen her since this morning. The security guard at the Arndale Centre stopped a shoplifter. A known shoplifter who was acting suspiciously and recovered the bag. Probably only a few minutes after it was taken. Ah, well, sure, that's dead on. She'll be delighted, so she will. Bags at the station, I'm afraid. We're slightly concerned about the contents. In particular, the amount of cash. Well, how much cash? Just under £35,000. What? Have you any idea why a fiancé might be carrying that sort of money around, Mr MacDonald? <sighs> you sure there hasn't been a mistake? Quite sure. The money was taken from a bank account today. We found the chequebook in a bag together with her cards, passport, payslip, which is how we confirm the address. Right. One or two till receipts, a first-class rail ticket to London. Dated today. Let's see. Jim. 
Jim, you'll never guess what. Something terrible's happened. Are you all right, Jim? Yeah, I'm fine. Why shouldn't I be? Well, look at me. I've been to hell and back today. I mean, don't you want to know why? I already know. What? The police have been ruined. They find your handbag. With £35,000 of my goddamn money, Gwen! What are you playing at? This is the latest and greatest of your tricks, isn't it, eh? That must have been one goddamn honeymoon you had planned for us, woman. Unless, of course, you wanted to disappear on your own to London. First class, by train! No! No! I mean, sit on it! Shut up! Now, you answer me this, woman. Why were you so desperate to get away from me? Unless, of course, you didn't want to be with me in the first place. Is that the correct? It wasn't like that. Oh, wasn't it? Do you know, come to think of it, Gwen, you never wanted to move in here in the first place, did you? And you certainly didn't want to get married to me, did you? No, it wasn't like that. Yes, it, it was like wrong. that. Why the hell did you disappear with £35,000 of my money? Hey, I don't know whether you're capable of telling the truth ever again, Gwen, but I want it. By God, I want the truth and I want it now. I was running away. Oh, were you? To London? Well, it seemed as good as place as any to make a fresh start. Oh, a fresh start? How sweet. A new life. I suppose so. On your own? Or with someone else? Was there someone else, Gwen? No, don't be so stupid. Stupid? Well, excuse me for breathing. I think I'm entitled to jump to any conclusion I want, given the circumstances, don't you? I didn't plan any of this. It was a spare-of-the-moment thing. Oh, well, that's even better, isn't it, eh? She wakes up in the morning and thinks to herself, Hell, I don't want to get married to an animal like him. I'll just disappear with his money. Brilliant. I wasn't running away from you. Well, what were you running away from? Sex. I've got oh, masses yes. of them, and they're getting bigger and bigger every day. I've got people coming to the factory. I've got people following me. The hammering on the door. I'm so scared I didn't open it. Why didn't you tell me your debts were so bad? Because I knew if I did, you'd just go mad. Oh, I see. So you just thought you'd waltz off with my money instead. Great. No, I didn't think that, but... I just was sick and tired of creeping around and lying to everybody and the thought of that money just sitting in that account just drove me mad and I, I couldn't stop myself. I know I did wrong, Jim, but I'm desperate. I'm not responsible for my own actions. I, I just can't help it. <laughs> Do you know what makes sense now? If that handbag hadn't been found, I'd have walked back into an empty house, wouldn't I? Eh? And an empty bank account. And you'd have been sick on your butt in the rich. No! Oh, yes. I'll tell you what you are, Gwen. You're a money-grabbing... Do you know something? You just are out for what you can get, and when you get it, you just want more. It's oh, like yes, that. it is! No, it's You're not. a money-grabbing, two-faced, deceitful... No, don't hit me! Oh, no. I wouldn't give you the satisfaction. Get out. What? You heard me. Get out. Get out, Gwen! No,